This is the plaintiff, Craig Silverman. He says he owns a property tax grievance company and got the defendant's tax bill lowered by over 3,000 bucks. The defendant refuses to believe his tax bill has been lowered because the new tax cycle year hasn't yet begun, so he refuses to pay his fee. Just because the defendant's not responding to his bill for services doesn't mean he's gonna go away. So he's suing him here and now for the $3,156.37 he's definitely owed. This is the defendant, Mohammed Farouk. He says he has received no notice from the town confirming his taxes were reduced, but did get a bill from the plaintiff's company demanding money. The plaintiff assures him he will get a tax reduction in the future. And if and when he does, he will pay this bill, but not before. He's accused of not paying for services rendered. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the dock, the plaintiff has a property tax grievance company, says he got three grand knocked off the defendant's tax bill, and now he now wants his fee. The but the defendant says he's got no proof he's paying less taxes. It's the case of three things are certain, death, taxes, and lawsuits. Thank you, Douglas. Okay, Property Tax Reassessment Group Incorporated, represented here by Craig Silverman. You're the owner. Uh, you are suing Mohammed Farouk. Yes. For $3,156.37 that you say he owes you um, under a contract where you provided services trying to get his taxes reduced, and you did, and he won't pay you. Tell me what's going on. I run a property tax grievance company where we lower property taxes for people in Long Island and Westchester. Okay, Mr. so why Farouk, don't you first give me a little overview of the business? In Long Island and Westchester, taxes are, property taxes are really high. And, I run a business that lowers people's property taxes. Because what you do is when they hire you, they pay how much? A filing fee? There's no fee unless no we fee win. Unless it's a win. contingency. So if they agree to hire you, you then go before what board? We file a petition to go before the Board of Assessment Review. And, and then, then you convince them you've assessed this home too high, you're charging too much, look at these neighboring properties or whatever. And then if they agree with you, the taxpayer saves on property taxes for that year? It's, uh, yeah, it's, you're grieving ahead. You're grieving ahead. Yeah. But you're also charged ahead? When you say charged, okay. you mean... When did he hire, let's do it differently. When did he hire you? What day and he, year? He hired me May 18, 2015. Okay, may I see the original documents from when he hired you? And what did he hire you to do? To appeal his property taxes from what year? He, the tax year was the... 15, 16 year. And the was, tax sorry, year the six, runs from... The, yeah, the 15, 16 year. The tax year runs... Why does the tax year run two years? Wh wh it goes from when to when? So there are two payments due. One is December and one is in May. So that's why it's a two year. Okay. And those payments are due for what tax bill? Tw the, the, it's due prospectively? So it's for the future? It's, pay, it's charged in advance? Correct. All right. 2015-2016 property taxes. Okay, it's to lower the tax bill from December 2015 through November of 2016. Correct. All right, and he hires you when, did you say? May 18th. May 18th. Is when he dated his application. Okay. All right, so then what happens? You guys go in and you battle it out when? So... Do you do that in person or is it all in writing? It's mostly paperwork and then we do a conference and try to sell them. So... In his case, we applied to the Board of Assessment Review and actually got denied. We then filed another petition to request a SCAR hearing, which is Small Claims Assessment Review. That's where we got his reduction. Okay. And so on what day do you get his reduction? March 29th, 2016. Okay. Can I see that? All right. So you get him a reduction of how much? That was the nearly $4,000, the 384406 Okay, and according to your contract, oh, how often do, does property get an assessed value in your town? The house has an assessed value. That does right. not Right, and change. that assessed value that you got lowered for him, yes. that's good Permanent. for how long? Permanent. The tax rate might increase per year, but his assessed value will stay exactly the same until either you build on it and they come back and add you for that extra square footage or you challenge it. The tax rate, like the IRS rate, can change from year to year, but if your assessed value is X, it remains X until you challenge it or you do any work in your house. 
That's not how it works in other places. No, that's right. why I'm not in all the places we do a lot of business right. in Suffolk County. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think that the people who do what you do in other places just get hired every year to do it again. So <laughs> can I ask let me. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's all the floor's all yours. What I want to understand is, so you have this contract with him that says, if I lower your taxes, you're going to pay me 75 percent of what I lowered just for that one year. You get to keep this forever, but that just the 75% once of, of one year's savings. And then you didn't pay him, but he did lower your taxes. So why didn't you pay him? Okay. Uh, first, uh, your question was like uh, you asked him to how that reduction is sort of good for how many years, how often we can apply for it. It's like every year you can do it for the reduction. So I had previous company who reduced my uh, taxes like $2,500 or $2,600 total. It's like previous year. So I signed the same paperwork which I signed with them. They took the money from the county, the town office directly. I signed that paper, same thing with them too. So they received the refund check for the same year, which I Who filed. received the refund check? The, the other prior com company? The prior company. Okay. So they received the total in, let's say, of, Three thousand or thirty-five hundred dollars total in. Uh, uh, <laughs> and uh, then they took their fee, and then they, and they right. But that's yeah. not how this company no, no, does it. That, so that, what that difference does it make? The question that I have, the only question yes. you should have is, did they get me a reduction? Yes. Did so, they? No, I never seen any deduction because I see the prior reduction which the previous company have done it. So I have not seen. Even I called the town office, the uh, tax office, to ask them to is there any uh, recent reduction? They said no. Wait, I'm look, hold on, stop, stop. So has anybody here heard of uh, property tax reductions that people routinely go for that? Never heard of it. I've, I've never, is this, does this sound like a thing that I don't know about? Probably a money making scheme. But somebody's got to go to it. Oh, oh, so you're saying they can't really do it, but they pretend like they can do it. Yes. I gotcha, okay, going inside the courtroom. On April 13th, I am seeing that your tax bill used to be one figure and it became another figure that is lower by $3,844.08. Did you know this? No. Oh, no. okay. Well then, we're going to we're about to we're about to crack this case wide open. See, it used to be this and then thanks to their savings that they got you, it became this. I need you to look at it and then tell me if you get it. Yes, I see that deduction. But uh, the same year, 2015, was previous company which I applied for. They also have done their reduction. No. So I don't know no, if they... No, 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 no. You get charged prospectively. So if you already if you already hired somebody to do this for you, what a coincidence that they got the exact same figure that he got and that they got it a year late. This is the company that did it for you. And they got you a credit. See, you're expecting a refund check, I understand. Well, that's not how it worked because you were still in the middle of paying this year. So what it did was your tax bill do now you, you have a mortgage on the property, right? Yes. Right. So your bank takes Banks. money from you and puts escrows for the taxes. So the amount the bank was going to have to pay, all right, was X, and then it became X minus 3,488. So he did get, get it for you. See okay. how? Of course. No, okay, I Okay, so he, then you got to pay no, him. No, no, I never denied that. They well, you didn't, didn't pay him. He had to sue you because you no, said you no, didn't no, see no, a no, refund. No, no. Oh, okay, I, uh, I never denied that. I never yeah, done the work. You did. You Definitely did. they have submitted. And they have not shown me the proof of, of the reduction. Did and, you just see this? And I have some, Did you see this? I just see Is this, this now. a proof of the reduction? Yes. Okay. Did you not give this to him? No. Why didn't somebody just... It was so much easier to collect if you can persuade somebody. Because what we give them is the stipulation... I know, but why didn't somebody just do this? This is so much more persuasive. Uh, next time we will. Yeah. You should. Right. Somebody could just take him two seconds done this, and I can see him crumbling before my very eyes. As soon as he saw this, he's like, oh, geez. You know, so <laughs> we wouldn't have been here. Not that it right. wasn't fun. That's right. I consider this fun. No, like, like my previous uh, experience uh, yeah. when I had the reduction. So All right, I, so let's talk about the invoice. What have we got now? Let me see what it is you are attempting is to collect, and let me see. According to the contract, there are fees of $275 incurred with late payment on top of the 75% he saved you in taxes. 
So that's a total of $3,156.37. Verdict for the plaintiffs. <laughs> So the plaintiff has the evidence, and he prevails. Mr. Farouk, you should have read that invoice. You should have read that bill, and you would have realized you should have paid. Yes, I did read it, and I called but, what I but was supposed to do. But the thing is, I don't understand. They, they went against me because uh, well, I called their office, and I spoke to them. They acknowledged they are getting the refund check. No, but didn't how would I know? Yeah. didn't happen that yeah. way. Well, you learned a lesson. Of course. I think. No, I previous Hopefully. experience, I already All paid, right. and good. they got... Sorry about that. Thank okay, you. thank you very much. Mr. Silverman, you too. She, she pointed out you could have saved the problem of court had you sent him that document. We gave him a different document that showed the reduction, so well, it was you clear as day. It for him and explained it to him in detail. Maybe it would have helped, right? It probably would have helped. You'd have well, gotten money sooner. We do a great job lowering people's taxes, Obviously. and when you save somebody that kind of money, you yeah. expect to be paid in a fair I amount of totally time. totally understand. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. You must sign a few documents. Harvey? Okay, Doug, look, I mean, this is a case where just looking at the paperwork shows who's going to win and who's going to lose, which does make a point that sometimes you really got to sit back and think, do I really have a case? And if you don't, why bother going to court? That will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.